I was eight years old and had a swollen knee and I was misdiagnosed with haemophilia. It's been over four decades since Stuart McLean was given contaminated blood which he didn't need and which no one told him had given him hepatitis C. When he finally found out a few years ago, it nearly killed him. I just thought hep C, everywhere I looked online, it went to the worst possible scenario. Lost my career with depression, lost everything basically, um, nearly lost my life. I stood at Motorway Bridge to, to end it all. A passing neighbour dissuaded him, but Stuart is one of up to 30,000 people given contaminated blood by the NHS, and thousands have since died. Giving evidence, this former Prime Minister drew gasps of disbelief by suggesting misfortune played a part. There's no amount of compensation you can give that could actually compensate for what had happened to them. What had happened to them was incredibly bad luck. Uh, awful. And, and, and it, it was not something that anybody was unsympathetic to. But the risk should have been clear. The NHS began importing blood products from the US in 1972. Just two years later came the first warnings of contamination and hepatitis. By 1983, the UK government had been told AIDS was being spread through them. But it was 1991 before American blood products stopped being used. For Stuart, bad luck doesn't begin to cover it. And he calls that bad luck, knowing that our government brought them products from America. That's not bad luck. That's irresponsible. Mark Ward was given the same blood products as a child with haemophilia. By his 20s, they'd given him HIV. If you ignore AIDS, it could be the death of you. Just as public health campaigns like this were stoking fear. He feels he's lived with government complacency for decades and today was more of the same. He was in charge of the country whilst we carried on dying, carried on being infected, and he never, and he never asked why. It's not, that's nothing to do with luck. Away from the inquiry, these vials hold not blood but messages to those who've died. A reminder that whatever the outcome, for too many, it will be too late. Rachel Younger, ITV News.